Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll learn about different data storage styles and display formats for numerical and interesting data. So let's begin. This is the main is data interface, and in order to activate, you do file and data editor. With this main is data interface active, press Control Mind for the do file and Control Eight for the data editor. Let us sit. Let us clear everything and set our observations to. 12 and then let us generate a variable called a, a random variable and uh, let's multiply it by 100 and let's see what happens so this is the numerical variable and once you see the type this is the the, the data storage type is float and the format its format is percentage 9.0 g so 9 means this 9 is the width of this column actually so they are they take only byte integer and long they take only integer values and they take both integer and non-integer values if we progress from byte to double their capacity to store the size of data also increases let us reinforce this thing by the help of an example just force it to be generated byte and what happens you see it takes only the integer value no okay and its default width is eight so this is eighth column width then after if you see its size it's 12 for 12 observation it's 12 byte so for one observation it is one byte so let us repeat the same process for all the data storage types now let us go to the integer and you see this is the column width is eight column width uh, and uh, the data size is 12 for 12 observations so for each observation it is 2 byte and it also takes only integer value so let us repeat this and for another long and you see what are the changes so the format it takes the column width is 12 column width and uh, the size is 48 for 12 observations so for one observation it is 4 byte so let us change it to after float so float receives the decimal values as well as the integer value. So if you see the format, it's nine column width and uh, the size is 48. So 48 for 12 observations. So for each observation, it is four byte. And uh, let us go to double. So what happens to the double? So the column width, it is actually 10 column width and uh, the, dip, the size for 12 observation is 96 12 is a 96 so for one observation it is 8 byte let us see if we write here byte and you see what happens if we increase if we increase the number to th so only two digits number appears this is the limitation we need integer you say integer can record this but if once the data increases to 60 digit number integer also called source of memory in that case we need to use long okay so long also does have certain limitation you see now let us see if you write we don't specify anything and we simply round this and let's see what happens let us also multiply this only by 100 and let us see what happens let us run this again Control d and you see you see the data type it is still float but the, this two digit number can be stored by byte or integer now in this case the safe side is always you press com you type compress and the name of the variables and this data will allocate on its own the suitable size you see it's 12 and the it is byte the data type, storage type is byte now let's manipulate the format so if you write format percentage now it's 9.0 j so what does this 9 means so this means the width of this column actually and after decimal place we are taking zero numbers zero digits okay so let us change this let us write five uh, let's read format a with percentage 5.0 g so g for general okay 
you see you saw this the column of this variable a 80 degrees because we have taken only five column width previously it was nine column width so let us again uh, increase the width and see what happens format a otherwise you can use this format and specify the column width to decimal place in general and then variable a so this works this way as well so now the column width is nine nine column width and we are taking two decimal place this is the general format the display format so this general display format is data allocates the suitable format on its own you know the display is data arranges it so we don't have any control on this what what would have happened had we specified this minus here so you see now before specifying minus the data is aligned towards the right but if you specify this minus the data will be aligned towards the left so this is for left alignment so format let us write percentage 9.2 again but let us write the fixed format what happens yeah. so you see now we have two decimal places if you go on increasing this we still have two decimal places because we have rounded this let us remove this around and see the changes you see now we have two decimal places and this is reflected in your table as well right it is table a and you see what happens two decimal places so without this fixed format if you table it then what happens so this data will allocate the suitable kind of format right so once we manipulate on format you you won't see any changes on the size okay so format is only to please our sense actually how we want to display it so let us write the fixed format and you see we have you may want four decimal places and you see the table set decimal point aj now it is period now you can set it to comma and then you can table a let's see oh this is a mistake you see this comma in place of uh, in place of period so I, I think you don't need this so let us write period So this is one interesting thing and you know about the alignment as well so let's try it once again this will be towards your left alignment and if you remove this this will be towards your right alignment if you write e for exponential right control d you see this is the scientific notation sorry that is the scientific notation then after let us say if the number is very big and you want to display some commands from that percentage so we didn't mention any anything here let's write general and what happens okay let us write fixed and you see the changes so four decimal place so if you write fixed and you want to introduce comma as well and you see you'll get comma as well a string variable what if we have a string variable so let us drop a and then a set of basins to 12 so what happens we generate a to be string and i think that we code under this that right under this quotation is a string so let's write this and you see what happens so if you see this the size is 48 and we have 12 observations to 12 for the 48 so for each observation we have four byte and we have four letters in each observation so it means per observation one byte one byte per observation you see string four there are, i mean there are four letters so the nine column width you can decrease this format actually so you can write format we need only percentage format a and you can write percentage not only not nine you a four is enough okay so four column width and you can write s for each string so this is the general rule so still we are on the safe side that does not affect let us see the change on this type and format once i increase this sentence okay this is me you see this is equal to this there are there must be 10 letters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 letters so this is specifies and the same is the format 10 column width right so if you see again in per, in each observation we have 10 letters so for 12 observations we have 120 letters so for each letter we have one byte located 
the case of the string is very simple you need not worry about this let's see if i write here string four only if i allocate only four column width then what happens sorry four bytes only so only this is four letters are displayed so if i write five what happens only five you see this data type is five but we have the column mm, width it's nine column width so what happens if we decrease let us not manipulate this let this data decide on its own it is 10 for 10 letters for 10 letters for observation you have 10 column width and this is by the 10. so what if we change the format what if we change the format let's write format then after a percentage let's say we provide only five column width and see what happens yes for this trick you see only the five letters are displayed after that we get this one two three four and space is five after that we get this so count the number of letters and write the same letters same number here then that is four five six seven eight nine ten so if you write 12 that's fine if you write 13 column width or 15 column width that's fine now let's see if you write here minus then it will be right aligned and if you remove this minus it will be left aligned we know this so thank you very much econometrics melody thank you